Good evening everybody. Hopefully you can all hear me all right. It sort of feels like a little while since I've done one of these. I'm sort of uh, now we're half back in church and online at the same time sort of juggling the two formats for our worship but uh, welcome to our service this evening. Special welcome if this is the first time you've watched one of these. Um, whether you're watching it on YouTube or whether you're watching it live on Facebook, you're very welcome. Uh, so usually for our uh, Tuesday evening Eucharist, we usually take Saints Day. Um, it happens to fall tomorrow and it's it's called a commemoration rather than a feast, but I put feast here anyway, but it's, it's technically called a commemoration. Um, but it's celebrating Mary, Martha and Lazarus, who are described rather beautifully as companions of the Lord. So that's what we're celebrating in our service today. Um, they're, they're brothers and sisters that live together, Mary, Martha and Lazarus, really good friends of Jesus. So um, we're thinking about them in our service today. And the words as usual will come up on the screen as we work th our way through. And if you could join in with the words in yellow as they come up. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we come to confess our sins to God, those things that we've left undone, those things we've said that we shouldn't have said, our attitudes to other people. So let's just take a moment to think of those things that we would like to say sorry for. We have not always worshipped God, our creator. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have not always followed Christ our Saviour. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. We have not always trusted in the Spirit our guide. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We have a particularly nice collect. A, co a collect is basically a collection of, of phrases made up into a prayer. And we always have a collect in each of our services. And this is the collect for the uh, commemoration of Mary, Martha and Lazarus. And it's rather wonderful. God, our Father, whose son enjoyed the love of his friends, Mary, Martha and Lazarus, in learning, argument and hospitality, May we so rejoice in your love that the world may come to know the depths of your wisdom, the wonder of your compassion and your power to bring life out of death. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our friend and brother, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. On this mountain the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-matured wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-matured wines strayed clear, strained clear, and he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death for ever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God, we have waited for him, so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the living God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I hadn't realised um, until I just read it what the Old Testament reading was for this evening, that beautiful passage from the 25th chapter of the prophecy of Isaiah. And as I was reading it, it felt like it was talking about the current situation our world is in. It says, And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth. What a beautiful vision of the end of all things. And it echoes the same words in the book of Revelation, which I read at the funeral of our lovely organist, John Wybrow, yesterday, where it says he will wipe away the tears from everyone's eyes. So I just wanted to talk about that very briefly. Before I move on to, usually I speak about the gospel reading, um, but actually today I'd like to talk about the collect that I read. So Mary, Martha and Lazarus lived together in a, in a house. It was possibly Martha's home, um, we think. Uh, we're not really sure, but, but Jesus was clearly close to these three and spent a lot of time having meals with them. We have the story of Mary and Martha, the one where... Martha gets frustrated because Mary's the one sitting at the feet of Jesus listening to him talk and Martha's doing all the preparation in the kitchen and Jesus says to him, Martha, Martha, Mary's chosen the right thing here. And actually, we um, that story is actually very radical because what Jesus is doing is saying that women can be in the position of a disciple. Only a male disciple could sit at the feet of a rabbi and Jesus says that Mary's chosen the right thing in doing the same, in emulating the male disciples. So he's quite radical feminist was Jesus. So there's these three brothers and sisters that clearly were very close to Jesus. And particularly so that um, Jesus actually raises Lazarus from the dead. Um, you can't get more dramatic than that, can you really? Um, but you'll remember from the story of the raising of Lazarus that... Martha and Mary are clearly quite different characters. Mary's quite emotional, quite quiet. Um, and Jesus knows what each of them needs. And Martha says, Jesus, if you, if you were here, he wouldn't have died. And it's to, to Martha that Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. And so he kind of debates with Martha, but he comforts Mary and he gives them what each of them need as their, their own personalities. And so this collect's absolutely brilliant because it says, God our Father, whose son enjoyed the love of his friends, Mary, Martha and Lazarus, in learning, argument and hospitality. Learning, argument and hospitality. Our culture isn't particularly argumentative when we have social gatherings. We might be argumentative on Facebook, but we're not particularly argumentative when we have a dinner party. But clearly the meals that Jesus, Jesus spent a lot of time eating meals with people. And I always find that you get a lot closer to folks when you share a meal with them. But clearly they used to spar a little bit. And Martha spars with Jesus at the death of her brother. But also Mary perhaps 
also sparred with Jesus when they were talking together when Martha was busy in the kitchens. But I like that in learning argument and hospitality. And then it just says, may we so rejoice in your love that the world may come to know the depths of your wisdom, the wonder of your compassion and your power to bring life out of death. I just love that description of the three of them being companions of the Lord. And that's something that I want to be as well, a companion of the Lord. So today we think of that family, that small family that Jesus clearly spent more time with than perhaps any other family. Perhaps he always knew that he could go and stay overnight there. Maybe you have some friends like that that know that they can always come and knock on the door and come and stay with you if they need to. Friendship is something really precious and Martha and Mary and Lazarus gave that friendship to Jesus who didn't have a partner, he didn't. He wasn't married, he was an itinerant minister on his own and yet he found family with Mary and Martha and Lazarus and we all find family of course in Christ. So let us pray. Let us, pr by prayer and intercession with thanksgiving, make our requests to God. Gracious God, we pray for peace, justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights and for the relief of the oppressed. We pray for all those working on a vaccine against COVID-19. We give thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of men, women and children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the renewal of the church in faith, love and service. We pray for Libby, our bishop, and for the life of this community. We give thanks for the gift of your word, the grace of the sacraments and the fellowship of your people. We give thanks that we reopened Bible Church last Sunday and we look forward to opening Clown Church this coming Sunday. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this local community and for all people in their daily life and work. We pray for the young and the elderly, for families and all who are alone. We give thanks for human skill and creativity and all that reveals your loveliness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in need, for the sick, the sorrowful and the bereaved. We pray especially for the Reverend David Hull as he nears the end of his life and praying for his wife Chris as she nurses him and his daughter Ashley. In a moment's quiet, we bring before God those who are on our hearts. We pray for all who bring comfort, care and healing. We give thanks for human love and friendship and for all that enriches our daily lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. So let's offer one another a sign of peace by either commenting, peace be with you, or sharing a thumbs up or a heart emoji and sharing the peace with those who are watching this with. Peace be with you. Yeah, thanks. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to accept before you which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life. Help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Martha, Mary and Lazarus and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father for ever and ever. Amen. So we pray for the coming of the kingdom in the words our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Body of Christ broken for us, keep us in eternal life. Amen. In the blood of Christ shed for us, keep us in eternal life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ.
so we pray together. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Lord, in these days of mercy, make us quiet and prayerful. In these days of challenge, make us stronger in you. In these days of emptiness, take possession of us. In these days of waiting, open our hearts to the mystery of your cross. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for coming this evening and uh, just to let you know we are having our first service back at Clown Church on um, on this Sunday at 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock this Sunday at Clown Church. Um, please do bring uh, a face covering with you. Uh, we will be wearing them in the, in the service because obviously we're sitting for a fair amount of time near people so we need to be wearing the face coverings. Um, and you'll be asked to sanitise your hands as you come in. I will be making a little video of the layout so that people know what to expect when they come, but really looking forward to seeing um, some of you on Sunday. The service will also be live streamed on the St John the Baptist Facebook page, so you can watch it from the comfort of your home if you don't feel ready to come out just yet. Um, and then by the evening, the video should be available to view on YouTube as well. So hopefully by hook or by crook, you can attend our Sunday service. So this Sunday, 10 o'clock at Clown Church, looking forward to seeing you. Take care, everybody, and see you next time. <laughs>